there are men entering the ranks of the submarine service, a branch of the Royal Navy which calls for and maintains a very high physical and intellectual standard. The rigors of life aboard a submarine can only be faced by those in tip-top condition. Naturally, warm and comfortable clothing is an important item. At sea or at their shore station, the submariners are distinguished by their white sweaters. The men who answer this hazardous calling have much to learn. Not only must they know every rivet and bolt in their craft, but also the many accessories, such as the Davis escape apparatus, and the underwater sailor's lifesaver if things go wrong. Eventually, there comes a time when theory is put into practice, and the trainees go aboard for their first lesson below the surface of the sea. In the care of commanders and instructors who have had wide wartime service, they go to their allotted posts below as the N-23 heads out to sea. With each operation comes the calm voice of the expert explaining every action as the craft submerges into the silent depths. Our cameramen go with the crew taking pictures while the sub dives and is actually submerged. In the air, on land, on sea or under the sea, it's all in the day's work for the newsreel men. In the cramped space of each compartment, every inch is filled with smoothly running machinery and a maze of gauges and instruments. Now running through the water at periscope depth, the commander stares through the glistening brass tube as the underwater classroom performs its evolutions. Back in the switch room, the order to surface is received. With perfect ease, the N-23 emerges into the sunlight again after a brief spell in her natural element. The lot of a British submarine crew is as tough as any in this war, but the lads in the service are made of the right stuff. Thank you.